The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Feister Alternate Ending by Topher Payne A long way out in the deep blue sea there lived a fish not just an ordinary fish but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please, give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special skills? Who do you think you are? cried Rainbow Fish. Get away from me! Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I cannot answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then, suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't. The rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into the dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? He left, feeling so sad. He swam away thinking of what to do. He closes his eyes and imagine how that will work. He pi pictured the little blue fish from before coming back and saying, Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want a little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shiny scale, he thought. Well, 
Maybe I wouldn't miss it. Just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the scale, smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swing back and forth, with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the, when the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Mm, when he opened his eyes, he realized that he was not feeling happy at all. He actually was really sad. The rainbow fish felt so unvalued and diminished. Suddenly, he felt a light touch of a fin. The rainbow fish turned to see a little pupfish who approached the rainbow fish. Why are you sad? asked him in a quiet voice. You are so beautiful. What good to be the most beautiful fish in the ocean, said the rainbow fish, if you have no scales. The octopus told me I have to give away all my scales so that I could make friends. I am so sorry to hear that. I don't know what to say, said the pupfish. But if you go beyond the kelp forest, close to the shore, to the shallow waters, you'll find the legendary wise catfish. Maybe he can help. It was not easy to get to the shallow waters. But when the rainbow fish got there, a majestic catfish appeared in front of him. I notice you are sad, my little friend, the catfish said. Why is that? The other fish don't want to play with me because they're jealous of my glittering skills, said the rainbow fish. Oh, that is the reason, said the legendary catfish. Or... Is because you got a little full of yourself and forgot to appreciate others. The rainbow fish considered this for a little. Mm, he felt guilty. Rainbow fish, every creature in the sea has something that makes them special. Just as special as your skills. So when someone tells you that your skills are beautiful, say thank you and give them a compliment in return. Tell the lobster how strong her claws are. Tell the shark he has excellent teeth. Sharks love when you notice their teeth. 
You have very impressive whiskers, said the rainbow fish. Thank you, and you have soulful eyes. No one complimented rainbow fish's eyes before. Compliments are fun. Now, said the fabulous catfish, I want you to look for what is exceptional in others. When you celebrate what makes each of us distinctive, you become part of a community. Thank you, fabulous catfish, said the rainbow fish, excited to begin his new approach. I'm glad to rainbow fish go out there and glitter and remember it's important to consider the feeling of others but you should never feel obligated to diminish yourself for someone else's comfort there's room enough in the sea for each of us to be amazing in our own way. The rainbow fish began the journey home, appreciating his wonderful neighbors as he traveled. Hello, Marco. You're the faster swimmer I ever seen. Hi there, squid. I heard you have three hearts. That's so cool. May I ask you a few follow-up questions? What's up, Ron? You can change colors. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite? Hello, muscles. I appreciate that you have a wide range of viewpoints which you express without disparaging each other's perspectives. And hello, blue fish. You don't need one of my skills to be special. You're a desert pupfish. You can thrive in water up to 113 degrees. That's some superhero stuff. You are awesome. The most amazing thing began to happen when the other creatures of the sea spoke of rainbow fish. His dazzling scales were no longer the first thing they mentioned. It was his kindness and positivity and how wonderful it was to spend time with him. It didn't take long for others to follow his example. The end.